I'm your host, welcome to 23. You join me for Save the Day Chapter 7. Indeed, I do. Hope you're all having a good day. We're tier minus two hours until Arnold and Edith's ceremony is no emergency yet. Oh my god, it's Michael. Whoa. Looks dope in here. Except for uh, this group of teenagers that just showed up in the gym. Whoa, this is so cool. Does it mean I'm getting old if the sight of a gaggle of teenagers terrifies me? No, worry, it just furiates my ass. Whatever, they're not messing up this wedding. Hey, kids. The lighting for selfies is perfect over there. Way over there, like out of the gym. Shoo. Oh god, they're staring. Quick, Lauren. This is when they're at their most dangerous. Uh... Brooklyn? We're actually here for the wedding. I'm Arnold's granddaughter! Wait, what? We're all family. Oops. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. That was totally rude. It's okay. You were just looking out for Paul's and Edith. I'm Haley, and this is Dan and David. Oh, shut the f up right now. We actually came a little early to see if uh, we could help out with any last minute stuff. I am in my previous stance on teenagers. These ones are cool. Well, that would be amazing. Can the two of you help setting up the decorations near the door? Sure. Can reuse new people or the old dummy ones or with the four of us working the wedding get sets up in no time and look here's Arnold and Edith just in time oh Lauren it looks beautiful wonderful in here I can't believe this is the same gym you really did a marvelous job we couldn't be more excited and you look darling in that dress I was hoping you'd like it you fit right in in our graduating class. It really feels like we're back there. Well, glad I could contribute to that. I trust the grandkids aren't giving you any trouble. We were helping. And I want to make sure everything is perfect. And everything is... Well, almost everything. Hold up a minute, almost everything? Don't give her a heart attack, Arnold. Um, what is it? Oh, it's just this silly thing Arnold and I have been hung up on. Oh, we hit a couple of time capsules uh, full of our things back in the 40s. I know it uh, was probably too much to hope for. Uh, it'd still be here. But we, uh, gotta hope so. We tried looking for it, but I think we need to accept that it's probably lost in time. This is the saddest thing I've ever heard. No, it's not. <clears throat> My heart is literally crumbling. I just, I don't want to sound morose, but I think it's hopeless at this point. Oh, you're right. Let's just give up on it now, I think. Don't worry, dear. We don't need it to make today special. You're trying to hammer this home, aren't you? All of a sudden, David bumps into my side and whispers, Hey, I, I could help look for it if you want to try. Fine, here. Yeah. Find their time capsule, okay? Let's be real. Oh, that would be splendid. Oh, look at me smile. Yes. Oh. What kind of wedding planner would I be if I didn't at least try to find this for you guys? Are you sure? I don't want to send you on a wild goose, Jace. Oh, it's okay, Aunt Edith. I'll help her. We can do it together. Well, thank you, sweetheart. Arnold and I need to go uh, get presentable, but we'll find you afterwards. Okay, I have no idea where to start. Okay, um, I may have to shot myself in the foot here. I don't even know who to ask about this. Oh, I think we just need to try the talking to the janitor. Craig is always here, and he knows everything about this school. I wouldn't be surprised if he knows some of its history. Alright, how do we track this guy down? He's a janitor. Hello there! Ah! Yeah, this must be Craig. 
Uh, hi there. I was wondering if you might be able to help us. I have many in my time. It helps. Uh, it remi remains to be seen if you'll be one of them. Well, um, David. Are you like Janet or Yoda? Are you gonna guide us on a journey with a mystical wisdom, right? Right, you're not, like, gonna try and ride on my back, are you? Ask me what you will. Hmm, ask me what you will. Hmm. While this under weird stuff I didn't expect to be doing as a wedding planner. Well, we were wondering if you might know where an old time capsule might have ended up. It was made for uh, by a couple in the 40s who went here. They're um, actually getting married today, so uh, time is of the essence. You know, before one of them dies, you know. He's actually stroking his non-existent beard like a wise humble mystic. Mmm! The secrets at the school! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gone now! The secrets of the school have been passed down from janitor to janitor for as long as I can remember. The ever-changing layout is carefully guarded secret, and only the worthy may know it. Of all the weddings I've ever been to so far, this is definitely shaping up to be the strangest. Answer the riddle and you shall find what you seek. I am filled up, however, never go down. Go too deep and you may drown. Sometimes I'm cold, sometimes I'm not so bold. Bad. I was gonna say bold, but, you know. Okay, I'm filled up, however, never go down. Go too deep, and you may drown. Hmm. Most never see me before they grab. Uh, what could that mean? Your mother. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I don't do riddles. It's Seven o'clock in the morning. I haven't had coffee, and I was doing this first thing after I got my brothers on the bus. Your mother. Hmm. I don't know if that makes sense. It has to be something else. I am filled up. However, go never go down. Go too deep, and you may drown. Oh, sweet mother of Christ. And I was muted too. God damn it! But I do know about a door that's always locked and no one is ever allowed in. Are you willing to risk your spotless record for this worthy cause? <clears throat> if we get caught, I'm blaming it all on you. Well, fair enough. A secret door. The school has a secret door. Kids these days, right? It's unlocked. Actually, we had a secret door too. 
I feel like Craig probably had something to do with that. If we find this thing, we definitely owe him some wedding cake. We don't owe Mysterious Yoda shit. Whoa. This seems excessive. Not only is it a secret pool, uh, it's like a secret, semi-creepy, borderland, borderline dungeon of a pool. I can't believe it's real. Do teachers hang out here? Okay. The time capsule wouldn't be just laying around. Um, anything that was here when they were doing construction would have been shoved somewhere else. Like a maintenance closet? Actually, yeah. What made you think of that? He smiles and points to the door and immediately uh, and helpfully says maintenance across it in red letters. Okay, you check the desk, I'll check the shelves. On it. Gross, there are a ton of cobwebs back here. Ooh, 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 and oh. Oh, hey, this has to be it, right? Ah, you found it. Quick, let's get it, uh, get back to Great Aunt and Arnold. Lauren, David, we have some very good news to report. Drum roll, please, I present the time capsule like I'm the girl from the, on the Wheel of Fortune. Oh! I can't believe it was still here after all this time. It's a miracle. Uh, thank you, Lauren. You can't imagine how special this is. Well, I couldn't have done it without David. Oh, if anyone asks, I never saw the pool. What? My lips are sealed. Don't worry. You and Arnold start going through the time capsule together. Oh, Arnold, look at the photos. We were so young. Wow, that locket looks fancy. Oh, I plum forgot that was in there. Arnold gave it to me the, when we first started dating. Oh, we saved up all summer working on Coney Island to get it. Nice moves, Arnold. Oh, there is. This is such an incredible gift. I can hardly believe it. You've made the day complete, Lauren. Well, when, uh, I think we've all got a wedding to attend. The rest of the wedding prep goes over uh, pretty smoothly. They're, they weren't kidding when they said no frills. Plus, uh, I have a bunch of teenagers at my beck and call. Well, let's get these chairs moved, Lauren. You guys rocked. I feel like a conductor directing a sympathy. Symphony. Sympathy. Wow. You know, I've read that word too many times in my life. Let's just put it that way. Let's go, people. T-minus, uh, three minutes. I'll make sure the DJ is ready. The last few minutes before the bride walks down the aisle are always chaos, but I, uh, think I might be, uh, getting the hang of this. Uh, because, uh, oh, before I know it, it's time. The ceremony is gorgeous, and I'm not just saying it because I helped plan it. There's a lot of love in this room. Or, Jim. Edith, I'm so grateful we found each other after all this time. I consider myself the luckiest sap in the world to be able to marry you. I'm so excited to spend our golden years together. I'm not crying. You're crying! No. There's just an entire tree in my eye. Both eyes. Arnold, you make me feel young again. When I'm with you, I'm filled with such a light. Being married to you is going to be icing on what was already an incredible life, and I could not be more thankful. Arnold takes the locket from the time capsule and clasps it around her neck. I can't think of a better way to make this official than with the peace of our past. Oh, you big Sam. Another wedding down. Go me. Now it's time to party. The music starts and a bunch of people hit the dance floor. Everyone's getting their groove on, Arneth and Edel, Edith included. What is this? I don't know, man, but I kind of, I'm kind of into it. Back when music, what's music? Imagine dancing to any of the new, like, 
late 90s, 2021st century shit. Nope, not gonna happen. Ah, oh, the youth. Whoa, look at them go! I did not expect to see Arnold and Edith being able to dance like a couple of 20 year olds, but they are killing it. Ooh, get it. Because mind over matter. Now the whole wedding is out on the dance floor and someone's tapping me on the shoulder. Hello, dear. I oh, hear you're the one who planned this little shindig, hmm? That's me. I'm Lauren. Well, Lauren, it's nice to meet you. I'm Beverly. What did you did for Arnold and Edith was real nice. I've been friends with Edith for a long time, and I just know this is everything she dreamed of it would be thanks to you. Aw, oh, that's sweet. Oh, well, I was happy to do it. Would you like to dance? Uh, sure, why not? You'll have to teach me the steps, but sure. Dancing partner is very forgiving, and I actually start to get the hang of it. Everyone at the wedding dances a uh, night away. That's adorable. It's a few days since the wedding, and I think I'm actually getting itching to go again, which is why I hunted down Lindsay. I got a few more clients that's in your way. This is a popular season to get married. Oh, that's good for us, right? Definitely. I think we might have to start putting people on a waiting list pretty soon. Though most of them are still a uh, day of, of jobs, but we're gonna need more exposure if we wanna start reeling in big jobs. Something on Lindsay's desk catches my eye. There's a paper that says Niagara Falls Wedding Convention in giant letters. Well, what's that? Oh, that? It's just an application for convention in a few weeks. Yeah, I was thinking about applying, but I kind of check it out. It's probably too late now anyway. Lindsay, you were just like literally saying we need more exposure. Like, we should totally do it. This is the perfect opportunity for... to put yourself out there. You should get your designs out in the world, and the two of us could probably make some business contacts. Okay, well, let's see if we can even still get in. Applications were due weeks ago. I'm on Niagara Falls! Well, vendor spots are all filled up, but there is one last spot for a fashion show. That's perfect. You could show off your dresses on the runway. That would be great, except I don't have a model. Oh god, why is she looking at me like this? Hey, what about you? What? What about me? Help! Send help! Me, model? Yes, you'd be perfect for it. Um, I've been waiting for this moment only. I will try not to full trip and bust my face. Right, then let's get started. I'll uh, sign us up for the fashion show and you can model the new wedding dress I've been working on. I'm excited to see it. I'm sure it'll be a hit. Let's hope. Before I can say anything else, my phone starts to ring. Professional mode on. Hello, Jennings Wedding Planning. We plan spectacular weddings. Oof, that spectacular weddings part sounded less cheesy in my head. Hello, Lauren, it's Justin. How are you doing? It's been a while. Um, has it been? I haven't seen you since the bridal shower, and that was almost a month ago. Really? Felt like two weeks ago at most. Oh, I've been well. What do you need? Well, Nora's wedding is coming up soon, and... As the best man, I'll need a tux. Since you're the wedding planner and all, I thought you might come along and help me purchase one. Um... Okay, this is definitely not part of my responsibilities. Nora and Monica would have said so if it was. Then again, it seems like he was warming up to me before the bridal shower. Nora and Monica did say they might give me a bonus if I did a good job. Go shopping with Justin to buy him shit because, you know, it's pertinent to the thing, isn't it? No, it's not. Really? I mean, wonderful. I'll meet you at uh, 7 this evening. Uh, 62017 59th Street. I'm 
not sure John, why Justin bothered saying the street. He just could have said the ritziest department store in the city, and I've known which one he meant. We uh, meet up and head for the men's formal wear department, which uh, takes up to up half a floor because that's the kind of place this is. I approach the counter. Uh, excuse me, sir. Do you think you could help us pick out a tux? The man behind the counter glances our way. His eyes light up when he sees Justin. Justin, you're back already. And what do I owe the pleasure today? Uh, good evening, Eric. My sister's getting married next month. Nora, right? Tell her congrats from me. Now, let's see. Um, how about a tailcoat this time? It might be a bit uh, much on the particular occasion, Lauren. What's your take? Well, hang on, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to process the fact that you know the staff here by name. Just an... How many tuxes have you bought here? Well, this will be my fifth. The first one was prom. Second and third were both for award shows. The fourth, Sam's wedding. And the clerk knows you just from that. Justin, you haven't told her? Clearly not. He used to work here. Wait, what? I like this one, Justin. Yes, Lauren. Eric and I used to work together here when I was in high school and he was in college. Not here, here. We were in the back room. But you, weren't you always, like, going to do event planning like your father? I was, but my parents wanted me to do... make sure I, uh, had at least a taste of the real world first. And it worked. You may be loaded, but you're still one of the most down-to-earth people I know. Well, thank you, I try. But enough of that. Time to get you in your perfect tux. Eric starts slipping through the racks and grabbing things. Try this, and this, and this. I wonder what it would be like to have Eric and Lindsay in the same room together. Either the best thing or the worst thing, I'm not sure which. There. He leads you, uh, or us, in a changing room and hands just a bunch of hangers. Here, try these on. I'll be back later. Wait, you're not going to stay here and advise for fit? I would, but I got a call. Urgent business on the uh, dress department. I'm sure you can handle this, Lauren. Did he just wink at Justin? I'll see you later, Eric. Eric leaves the changing room and Justin hands me some of the hangers and starts to remove his shirt. Just wait outside, okay? Justin smirks a little as he rolls his toned shoulders out of his shirt. Is not that on purpose? I'll be out in a bit. No problem. Let me know when you're fully clothed. Justin steps into the changing room a few minutes later. Okay, what do you think? Oh, they just gave you the flowers and everything with it? Yep, that's the one. Agreed. Eric really knocked it out of the park with this one. Then why in the f*** are we here? You bet I did. But also, the same crazy luck right there. I'm not gonna need to tailor this at all. You're sure? I'm sure there are a few places. Nope, nope, I refuse to mess with perfection. Right, I'll get changed and uh, you can ring me up. This may be the fastest I've ever gotten a customer in and out. Justin heads back into the changing room. Once he pull, he's out of sight, Eric smirks and speaks quietly to me. So, Lauren, just saying, I couldn't help but notice that you seem exactly like the type, kind of girl Justin was uh, into in high school. Are you two a thing? A thing. I'm not sure we're even friends. The reason Justin asked me here was because I'm the planner for his sister's wedding. I gotcha, and obviously it's up to you. But just saying, if you wanted to be a thing, I think Justin would be interested. I'll keep that in mind. And very unprofessionalism goes out the window for Eric. Justin emerges from the changing room again, back in his normal clothes. Hello, you two. Eric, what are you smirking about? Oh, nothing. Laura and I were just talking about uh, cute boys. I wonder how your husband would feel about that. He would be disappointed that we didn't invite him. Um, can we just bring up the tux? Translation, I'm gonna dive embarrassment into this conversation. Kid doesn't stop. Immediately. Of course, right this way. 
Monsieur and Mademoiselle. Well, the way right back to the counter, Justin pays and takes every ounce of self-control not to peek at the price. Thank you. I'm sure I'll uh, check back on uh, one of these days. It's always a pleasure, Justin, and nice to meet you, Lauren. Between helping Nora and Monica getting organized for the convention, the next few weeks goes by in a flash. Before I know it, Lindsay and I are arriving at Niagara Falls for the wedding vendor event of the season. And the convention has networking opportunities for you to and Lindsay to invest in press and vendors to make connections. Wow. The Bridal Expo is packed with people. In Times Square run for its money. My mind is blown. This is even bigger than I expected. I need a map or something. I say we just dive right in. We can wander around the vendor booths and network a little. I'll follow your lead. Actually, I'm pulled to the booth with a bunch of cake and displays first. These look incredible. I'm glad you think so. I'm Mara. Well, I'm Lauren, and this is Lindsay. We're business partners, but this is our first expo. Well then, welcome. It's a little overwhelming, and I've been doing it for years. How long have you been in the wedding cake business? A long time. I actually started in college, just making cakes for friends, and then I got convinced to do it professionally. I'm always really inspired by natural ingredients and flower flavors in my work. They say we get to sample something. Here, have a taste. Oh, thank God. Hmm. Looks like a flaky lavender and vanilla cake. It's so good, I might actually cry. Bonus points if you can figure out what the secret ingredient is. I bet it's lavender! Oh, look at that. Locum's right again. That's right, you really know your cakes. That's the kind of attention to detail I really respect. I don't mess around when it comes to cakes. Here, take my business card. If you ever need a cake for one of your weddings, you can know who to call. Okay, cake booth is down. I know there's a lot to explore, but... I could stay at the booth all day. Maybe we should put on disguises and go back for more cake. While I support this plan, I think we might be better off meeting a few more people. Look, the booth has another wedding planner. Let's hope they have some wisdom for me. Hello there, aren't you two? You're having just the best time. I'm Carmen, it's so nice to meet you. Ooh, I love her energy. I'm actually new to the wedding planning business. I just left my old job a little while ago. She's just being modest. Lauren may be new, but she's really good at what she does. Aw, oh, thanks, Lindsay. You have the look of someone who is really gonna make it in the business, sweetheart. You have a good heart, I can tell. As long as you remember the most fundamental rule of wedding planning, you'll be okay. It's, um, love, true love conquers all? Exactly, you got it. If you can remember that love is at the center of all we do in the business, then you'll have no trouble. Nailed it. And if you ever need me help, give me a call. Here's my card. Thanks, Carmen. It uh, was really nice to meet you. You two darlings, come by anytime. Lindsay and I start moving again. I feel a little pep in my step after that. She had a lot of energy. I'm beginning to wonder if that's a requirement for wedding planners. Oh, look at the booze. Rings, let's go. Hello, are you in the market for one of a kind wedding band? Or perhaps looking for some for your clients? Uh, not at the moment, unfortunately. We're just poking around. I'm Lauren, and this is my business partner, Lindsay. Well, I'm Hank, and perhaps you'd like to take a look at my wares. They're handcrafted and all incredibly unique. They're all beautiful. Many people consider the ring to be the single most important aspect of a wedding. It needs to be as unique as the couple's love. I never thought about it like that way before. Well, what ring someone chooses is a window into their soul. Yeah, okay, buddy. Like this one. What kind of bride do you think might pick this ring? It's an unusual shape and stone, but doesn't diminish its beauty. Wedding man. Hmm. Um. The bride that would pick that is traditional, cheap, adventurous. I'm gonna go with adventurous. 
it's not your typical diamond ring, but it's still gorgeous. A bride who went for that ring would be a little adventurous. And I'm uh, not too afraid to do away with tradition. Exactly. Very good. You clearly understand this business better than most. If any of your clients are ever looking for wedding beds, I hope you'll keep me in mind. Okay. I could also uh, look at wedding day rings all day. But I know we have to keep moving. This is going so well. We're s you're so good at talking to people. Your networking skills came in handy. It helps that everyone has been super nice so far. And that I get to eat cake right off the bat. This is so fun. I'm feeling really good about this. I'm walking along. Minding my own business. Why do I feel like this is a song? When Lindsay also wrenches my arm out of its socket. Whoa! This girl is strong. Remind me not to get on her bad side. Is that Anna DeLuca? Oh, wow. I think it is. I can't feel my legs. I take it you're a fan. Fan is kind of an understatement. Anna DeLuca is my idol. Did you know she designed the dress for Cardonia Duchess War on her wedding day? Uh, you should go introduce yourself. No, 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 no! I'm too afraid. I'll probably choke on my spit or something. Honestly, I believe her. It's uh, not every day you walk into your idol. She might not be uh, get another chance like this. Are you sure she's right there? Okay, I'm doing it. He actually starts walking in the direction, but quickly turns around on her heel and practically sprints back to me. No, 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 no way. Anna DeLuca is way too cool and famous to want to talk to someone like me. Miss Lindsay to, oh, for the love of... Remember November 15th, Pokemon Shield and Sword. Why don't I introduce you and start things off? It'll be fine. Okay, I trust you. You know, I love each and every one of you, right? It's one of the reasons why I do this crap. Just throwing that out there. I have to physically drag Lindsay over to Anna. Hello! I... Uh... I... Ooh, this is Lindsay, and she's your biggest fan. Oh! She just unironically described you as an idol, literally seconds ago. Well, Lindsay, it's a pleasure to meet you. Lindsay, please remember how to interact with people. I believe in you. I just love your work, ma'am. You've been my inspiration for so long. It's such an honor to meet you. You're too kind. I'm flattered. I know it's a lot to ask, but do you think you could maybe look at some of my designs? Way to go, Lindsay. I'm impressed and she's not even choking on her own spit. I would love to. Let's see what you have. I didn't even know Lindsay had a sketchbook. Yeah, she pulled it out. Oh, thin air. It's not much. All these are all elegant, unique. They're absolutely refreshing, Lindsay. You're obviously very talented. Lindsay might explode, so I think I need to tap in for uh, her again. Well, that's why I team up with her. She's the best of the best. And who might you be? I'm Lindsay's... Model. Oh, yes, I can see why you'd make an excellent model. Lindsay picked well. I'm not a super fan or anything, but even I'm a little starstruck by this. Lindsay, Lauren, it's lovely chatting with you both. I have to get back to the convention, but I'll certainly keep you in mind for the future. Ooh, that sounds promising. I think we might just have to make us a high-profile connection. Thank you so much for talking with us. Bye! While Anna is walking away, Lindsay screeches. Quietly at first and louder. Did, did, did that go okay? Did I talk too much? Was I too sweaty? Oh god, did I totally blow it? Lindsay? Um... You did amazing. You were super professional, sophisticated, and Anna obviously was charmed by you. He hugs me. Oh, thank you so much for helping me do that, Lauren. That was the greatest moment of my life. You had all the confidence all along. You just need a little push in the right direction. Literally and figuratively. You do make a pretty amazing team. Not just because of this. I mean, in general. You're so great, Lauren. Can I tell you something? Go for it. Well, when I first saw you in the shop, I was kind of intimidated by you. By me? I'm about to as intimidating as a squirrel, if you ask me, but I suppose I do have a pretty bad case of RBF sometimes. What the hell's RBF? 
I'm intimidated by most people, don't worry. But you were just so beautiful and kind, and when you left, I, I couldn't stop thinking about you. Oh my. Um, did it have anything to do with me causing a scene in your place of business? No, I couldn't stop thinking about you for other reasons. And I was hoping that I'd get to see you again, and then you asked me, or ask if I wanted to be partners, and I was trying to cool, play it cool, and... But inside, I was freaking out. Really? I just I don't want to mess anything up with you, Lauren. I get so nervous all the time, and I really like you, and... Lindsay, you never have to worry about messing anything up. I think you're wonderful, and I like spending time with you. And I like you, too. There's nothing wrong with being nervous, and you don't need to be afraid that I'm going to judge you for it. Then, can I tell you something else? By all means. I'm really glad you came with me. I'm having more fun than you, with you than I've had in a long time. Lindsay. <sighs> I just... I kind of feel disinterested in everyone in this book. Is it me or is anyone else like feeling that way? Feel free to let me know. I mean, she's kind of cute and adorable, but in the like cute and adorable way. And it, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to go with neutral for now. I'm glad I came too. This has been uh, such a good time. And I'm glad, really glad I met you and that we became friends. I am too. You and Lindsay, you met Anna DeLuco. All right, Miss Social Butterfly, we've still got a lot of convention to see. Agreed. Let's go get you more cake. Ah, uh, you're officially my favorite person. The next morning, I'm brushing my teeth in the hotel bathroom when Lindsay sticks her head in. Good morning! Are you ready to stretch your stuff down the runway? Um, no. You take out the rough toothbrush first, Lauren. Sorry, what? You didn't forget you agreed to model one of my dresses for the fashion show, did you? Oops. Next time on Save the Date. You know, for a while, I was starting to think I might have been wrong about you. But it turns out I was right all along. You're an arrogant control freak who just can't appreciate things for what they are. Well, it turns out that I was right about you, too. Oh, Christ, this again. You know, you people and your little tension that you got going on that just is crap. It's just literally and figuratively crap. No one cares. Seriously. Very unprofessional that this bickering is continually going on between these two. And if anything, like, this book is just... This book went from, okay, this might be okay, 5 out of 10, to it's quickly deflating to 3 out of 10 right now. Without further ado, thank you all for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to receive notifications of when I upload content. Also, head down the description below. There are links to our social media accounts, Discord, and a few links to support my channel. It would be greatly appreciated. Otherwise, I starve and my family suffers. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.